Oh, I was right. You did go. Yeah, through. yeah, you did. And we're starting FD. Wait, then I was half wrong then because he went hit on FD. Yeah. <laughs> but right enough for the uh, the tweet on Twitter. Uh, so Need here we are. Do I get the reward for that? Uh, yes, thank you. Um. Okay, so how is this gonna go? What do, what do you think about like it wasn't what you were expecting uh, with it being regular pit on FD, but like like what what do you think it's like the train of thought here? Uh, you know what it is. I think I think he doesn't care. Like he's like you know what I know dark pit arrows are generally better on FD, but that privilege of versatility with the arrows is just too much. Um, so perhaps that it that kind of overpowered. Um, the advantage of having dark with zero. So I guess it's all down to preference. Um, and Fair also, enough. yeah, and also on top of that, I don't know what it is with pit dark pit players. I tend to go in this habit as well. Um, I almost never feel a need to switch uh, in between sets. Like there's never really a moment where I'm like, uh, you know what, I'm gonna stop using pit and go dark pit. Um, I don't know. It's, it, there, there almost feels no reason to do that. So I think that he's kind of just in his element. He's like, you know what? I'm using regular pit. I'm going to stick with regular pit, see how it goes. And uh, he's not doing that bad. Yeah, I mean, he didn't miss the ledge with his up so he ate a forward smash for it. But, you know, if he's able to tack on uh, a little bit more damage before any, taking any himself, uh, he can, you know, turn this into back into an even game. All right. We're looking to be up to Tom. What can he do? He's got to make it back to the Fourth stage. Oh, there we go. Nice. Up you pack. Ledge. Good. Ooh. At this point, I would just ledge get up or something. Or roll. Ooh. Oh. Tom's ah, being only works head. dark pit. Yeah, that's dead. Yeah, you can't, you can't go back on stage and arrow. That's a dark pit thing. That's not a pit thing. Get up there. Yeah, man, I, I, I don't know what it is. Like, he just... He's not getting used to this dash movement. Like, Tom just dash backs and wish punishes. Mm -hmm. And then whenever he dashes forward, he almost always gets the tilt. Whether it be down to the ref. Like, he really needs to just stay in shield. Let Tom put out the attack. And then when he notices Tom's dashing, he just needs to, like commit to aerials in place because that's where he gets the maximum amount of uh, safety. Back throw. I like that he went for back throw instead of down throw. Going for off stage, that's good neutral play. And I like that he went for multiple jumps as well, not to overextend. Ooh, I like that. Going deep, catch him. Really, not even catch him, just like stuff him before he was able to like uh, go for any sort of mix up. Could not be like really high there because he would just move him right into it. It's just good trap. Rip the tours. Yep. All right. Yeah, you know, just good ledge trapping. You can't really do much there. Was it Roy? Was it fierce? Gonna get some more candy. Let's Here's a cool audio test. Ever see those Kit Kat ads? Mm -hmm. How does it sound? How did that sound? Didn't hear anything, which is good. Alright, watch this. Oh no. Was that good? Didn't hear anything, which is good. Anyway. <laughs> back to FD. Mm. You it know, just... honestly, I actually don't know why he went FD. I don't think this is a good pick at all. Yeah? I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, I mean, like, 
He was making a bit of a comeback because like Tom started off super strong with like three to one, and then uh, you know Bashu was able to bring it back down to a one stock. So you know, if anything, even though he did lose game one, like the overall direction is still in Bashu's favor after that uh, that hard uh, start for him. So I mean, like maybe he's thinking like, all right. I, w I was going in the right direction towards the end there, so if I just keep it up, and if I change the scenery, look at those beautiful crystals. Um, you know, maybe I can, uh, you know, squeak out the W here. But you know, like you said, this could be not a great pick, as oh. Tom is going to hit him with a super cool, like, uh, just trap catch, uh, force, uh, scaring him into the air dodge, and then just punishing it. Uh, with that ending with that spike. Oh, but that's gonna. No, nope, he kept his jump. Nope, he kept his jump. Man, he burned his wings, Ooh. bro. Ooh. He's gonna need to go back to the fountain and get them recovered. Oh, oh man. Yeah, you know, this is what I wanna see more. I wanna see a lot more safe ledge play because he's over committing. And I wanna see more and more arrows. Like right here, he got a shot of an arrow. And then Tom would have been forced to fast fall or air dodge. Like, he just needs to not mm. commit so much. Like, let the projectile, let the disjoint do the work for you. Don't dash in too much. <laughs> All right, but Bash, you're finally going to be taking Tom's first stock. However, already at about 100 damage, which is going to be, you know, it's an uphill battle. I really like that, like, Tom, you know, he's kind of, he really plays like reactionary. He's not, like, just throwing out moves. He, he's really trying to, like, get you to do something. And just like that, Hits his shield to try and see if he could uh, make him feel safe that he could like jump away. Catches him and then hits him with the back air. So now, Tom with a full stock lead. This is a uh, this is quite damning for uh, for Bashi right now. He's gonna have to really figure something out uh, if he wants to turn this set around. Cause I don't know. I don't think I mean, maybe he can bring back this game. All right, all right. That was so swag. I he was love just that. like, count me out. Check this. Keep this. Uh, dude, I'm gonna check that out, certainly. I love that. He did the up tilt until like the up air. I think up tilt in general was sick. It's like, it's like you wanna go for the aerial? No, I'm gonna kick you and then I'm gonna slice you up with my bow. Such a sick attack. Uh oh. How much end lag does uh, Orbiter put away have? Ooh, um, I don't know the exact frame data. I know. How many frames of Enlag they took off? I believe they took out five frames of Enlag. I what? can't say what the exact Enlag is, but it's... I should just say it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Like, pretty good for Pit? Pretty good for Pit. Pretty good for Pit. Okay, so you're not going to see, like, you know, like, hard F smash punishes from some characters. Oh, absolutely not. Okay. In fact, I think even before the patch, that wasn't really much of the case. They mainly threw out tilts. Now it's basically a parry. Ooh! All right. Tom uh, with the two stock. We got two stock Tom right uh, here. Not an option. <laughs> two stock Tom. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here once a week. What? <laughs> Wait, once a week? You're not here twice? Well, not for tournament, but yeah, you're, uh, right. you're right. Got me. <laughs> okay, yeah, and lag upon release is Boom. God, that was such a good one. So I did a little bit of research. It went from frame 24 to frame 19. Okay. Frame 24 to 19. Okay, now you could still see uh, some F smash punishes um, from that, for sure. You won't be able to react. You'll have to time when he puts it away, and he can he can put it away when he wants, right? Yeah, and also keep in mind how far like the hitbox extends. Like, yeah, if he's putting out orbitars. It's not like the opponent's gonna be right next to him. Yeah, no, you, you, you'd away. have to see something like I don't know, like Bayo F smash, Kirby F smash, like things that travel. You know, Rob probably, Ivy forward smash, maybe not Squirtle forward smash, like Ivy and Zard, stuff like that. And we're seeing the dark pit right here. Yeah. Uh, looks like he's changing it up. Go away. Go away. 
with Pit, it's stay back. But with Dark Pit, it's like, go away. <laughs> get get out of here. We don't want to see you anymore. Alright, nice. You know what I'm noticing? I didn't pick this up earlier. I'm noticing his movement getting a little bit lazy. Bashy typically does, likes to do these sort of pivot, sort of walk motions. He's not doing that at all in this set. I think he's intimidated by Tom's uh, speed. I mean, that's honestly, you know, one of the big points about uh, Roy. He's so fast. He... Oh, oh, nice gimp. All right. Hey, the, the, the arrows being quicker really did play a role there. Certainly. And that's exactly what I, I would expect. Um, I would, for, for me, if you're going for an edge guard, you have to be sure that their up B won't hit you because if it does, then you're not going to be able to nail it just because you can kind of smack through those multi hits. If you know that for a fact, then you should just commit to the arrow because it's a really good disjoint. And like you said before, it is faster, so just commit to that option. That's a brave get of attack. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I mean, Bashi's doing a better job, but until he takes the stock, you know, it's not really going to be solidified. I, I just want him to not dash forward as much. Like, a lot of Pit's, uh, like, the, probably the greatest aspect of Pit's neutral is being able to not overcommit. Like, what he just needs to do is just stay in place, let Tom overcommit, and then just with punish. Because Pit is very good at doing that. Um, especially with grabs. When he gets the grab, he can just kill you. Just forward throw, down throw. No way he falls. Down or up air? Good. Yep, optimal damage. Yep, and he went for the dash attack. I like that he went for the dash attack and not the grab. Nice. See, he's he's not <gasps> dropping a shield as much. I like that attempt there. He, almost, he was so close to just like clipping his jump there with that fair. Oh, another attempt, but again, just barely missing. Oh, scary stuff. Oh my god. Nice rising poke. gear. Yeah, no, oh my go, god, go. please, just stick yes. back on the stage without commitment. That, right. that, that was the, uh, that was the left jump. Up oh, there we yes. go. Nicely done, nicely done. Alright, Bashi finally putting up uh, one on the board. Oh, uh, that's some big talk for someone who's down. Uh, over <laughs> 2 for a moment, but you know, alright, Dark Pit. <laughs> I like that. See that? He did the... So, again, this is a little gimmick that you can do. If you're on ledge and you input a ledge roll, you get the perfect spacing for side B ledge cancel. It's so good. Oh yeah, when he does the side B, he just like uh, is able to act freely like right away when he hits the edge, right? Yeah. Mm. It's super good because a lot of people will hard commit to a ledge option because they think they can punish it. Or they'll go off stage for edge guard and all of a sudden you just jump right after the edge guard and suddenly they put themselves and a disadvantage um because then when they go on the ledge for a second time they're vulnerable and then that's where you can go for your punish so side b ledge cancel in my opinion is one of the greatest things that you can do as a pit and darker player because there's so much versatility um yeah I could, I could go on and on about it but i'm, I'm not going to because i want to uh, <laughs> <laughs> i, I want to work together here all right so we're gonna on this game for finally going to see one of Tom's counter picks, which is just going to be PS2, uh, you know, making more space. How much does this differ from, like, FD, from, like, Pitt's point of view? Because they see that he's still a uh, dark Pit. Um, so I actually like this stage more than... I mean, I like FD in general as a stage, but in terms of, like, versatility and being able to get your setups, I really like this stage 
because um, the middle of the stage acts kind of like an FD where even if they're DIing your throws, you can mm -hmm. still catch them. Um, and the great thing is, if they do DI towards the platform, you can typically tech chase with uh, an up smash under the platform, or you can do uh, something that bashes them quite a lot, which mm -hmm. is Nair onto plat, F smash. So there's actually a lot of benefits from these uh, platforms. Ooh. All right. Well, you know, with that, you know, Bashi barely, really, ha he's only taken uh, some pretty minimal damage and taking out Tom's first stock. Yeah. That that down smash is so fast. Comes out frame five. All right, man. Snare. See right there. I think he knows for a fact that Tom is DIing away, but he doesn't want to give up too much space. So Bashy is just nearing him and letting him come back, which can sometimes be okay. But if you're letting the person come back too much, then you're missing opportunities to not only get more damage, but also kill them. So I, I, w I wonder if he's going to keep committing that strategy or if he's going to mix things up. Good recovery. Mm. Yeah, it, it, it's weird. Um, at the very beginning of the up B, that's where you can go for the falling fair because it kind of like drags his up, his, drags his arm up as he does the up B. Um, weird. <laughs> So when it comes to Roy's up B, that's where I think Pit does a little bit of a better job because you can have either Roy overshoot the edge or throw out the up B early. And when you do that, you can intercept it with a falling fair or even a falling mirror if you don't feel as committed. Um, that said though, taking it out again with that frame 5 down smash. Do you have any knowledge from the uh, Roy perspective in this uh, matchup? Not really. It, it's just like I don't know. The, I don't know either of these characters super well. Um, you know, Roy, super fast character, but like, yeah. Down throw fair. Good. 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 Catch the guy with. Yeah, see, I like that he's not drifting as much. This is exactly what he needs to do. Um, wait for Tom to do his thing, and if he overcommits, punish. Speed thing. Ooh, I, okay, I, I don't like that he does that. I don't, I don't I don't think there's any reason to up smash at all. It's laggy. Why go for it? Mm -hmm. Just use it to catch air dodges, like he did right there. Yeah. Down to the wire here. Bashi with stage control. Can he maintain it? Oh. Where are you? No! <sighs> Tom won, but. But not like this. What? What was that? What did he mean to do? To side B? Z minus, are you muted? Damn. What an unfortunate way to finish that. Otherwise, pretty competitive set. We did, Projo. He, he flew away uh, with that up B as well. Okay, what, what just happened? I, I My phone died. What happened? 
Oh, uh, check check this out. Are you watching? Yep. All right, here you go. All right, nice. All right, he had him at ledge. And then, okay, up air, up smash. Yeah. I quit. Yeah.